Hey, what's up you guys? It's January 26, 2021 in Big Bear Lake, California. We're on Moon Ridge Road, about to turn on to Big Bear uh, Boulevard. So what I'm gonna do for you guys, you guys have been doing an awful lot for me. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go down Highway 18 and Highway 330 right now. Just drive all the way down for you guys so you guys can see. And then drive up Highway 38 so you guys can see. So yeah, guys, we're gonna be on the road a good four hours right now at least, maybe four and a half hours. So it's 7.30 p.m. right now. Um, just know, man, I, I freaking love you guys. I love what you guys do for me. And I am so happy to do this for you. You have no idea. Like, it just makes me so happy. And look at how good the roads look. The roads are great. Even though it's in the teens right now, the roads are great. At least the main roads. I mean, look at this. They did such a tremendous job. That stuff they put on the roads before the storms, holy moly. Whatever it was really did something incredible because uh, we, we've been really cold, these temps, you know, after the snow fell. And so seeing it like this is just pretty amazing. Yes, there are some, some dry patches, some ice patches, but it's, or some dry patches. There's a lot of dry patches. There's icy patches, there's some, some snow, but it's not much. I mean, it's really not. As you can see, this main part of the road is just perfect. I mean, you guys will be totally fine. You guys won't have anything to worry about, I promise. When we get to the gas station up here, when I get gas to do this drive, what I'm gonna do is uh, um, get like a paper towel or something and wipe off the inside of this windshield. <clears throat> so it looks a lot better. Look, see, here's like a little, a little patch of like snow and ice on the right, right there. Not a big deal though. I mean, still guys, take it seriously. Take that little patch right there as if the whole street is full of ice. Um, sometimes I get complacent driving, but not in an unsafe way. Just that I'm just, I'm, I'm so conditioned to this that this is every day for me. This kind of like, if you went up to like Barrow, Alaska or something and, and visited people there, it's like, like, when they're driving around or snowmobiling or doing whatever they're like doing, I bet they do it more hardcore than the normal person who is out of their element when they're, when they're there. Very cool. Got the snow plows here, nice, nice. Yeah, they did a great job, you guys. This is incredible. As I said, because we haven't had temperatures really above freezing since since all this snow started. I mean, yeah, like I think for a minute we got above freezing today, but it, it wasn't supposed to. But uh, I, I think it may have. But I, I mean, just for a split second, and then just the temperatures plummeted again. I wish the temperature gauge, the ambient gauge in this car, would be correct more often, like. Uh, right when I start the car as opposed to having to wait 15, 20 minutes. Because I know this is not right. It says 24, I know that's not right. It's gotta be in the high teens right now. Would I lie about that? I don't see so. Why is my zipper? What am I selling hot dogs over here? Jeez Louise. Yeah, I got a hot dog competition, or not a competition, I lose that one. Hot dog sales. Hang on. Jesus. I don't want to. I don't like to say it with one hand. It probably looks funny for someone looking from the outside in. Alright. Guys, I love you guys so much, man. This is going to be dangerous. That girl is so dangerous. That girl. I've seen her tell before. She's so dangerous. Dangerous. Here's the village. There's the village. There it went. Okay. This is this can be treacherous right over here, you guys, because it doesn't get a lot of sunlight right through here. But look at how great of a job they did. You, All you snowplow guys, terrific job. You guys did a great job. And the little patches I was talking about are like these. That, that, like that little one that we, we just passed.
pass over. I mean, I'm telling you, these guys did a great job. Usually with this much snow and this cold of temperatures, the snow is plastered onto the road because of all the cars going over it, more and more snow falling, packing it down, more snow falling, packing it down, more snow falling, packing it down. It becomes like just a hard, just thick chunk of ice over time, so. Yeah, boy. This is so awesome. I like it a lot. Yeah, with, with the roads this nice, it, it doesn't, well, I guess it still does look like there's a lot of snow here. Uh, you know, the snow's halfway up the guy's car, right, right in front of us, so that's not too bad. Guess what I had today, you guys? We have a new lobster place. In, oh, sh I should have done a freaking review on that, man. Because you guys ask me all the time now. Um, I just didn't. I'm just, guys, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I just don't think about, like, a lot. I just, but trust me, man, for you guys, man, I trust, I, I do what I can. I promise you I do. Let's see what's going on here. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah. The lo oh, yeah, the lobster place. <laughs> the lobster place, yeah, like, lost my train of thought. So I ate, uh, I had a lobster roll, some french fries, and a soda. It was really good. Really good. I mean, I, I, I expected it to be good because up here so many restaurants just don't make it. And you'd think that over time they would, well, it's been a long time this town's been around. And they still don't, don't get the point. But uh, this place, man, damn good job. Not the cheapest, just for like a half a sandwich. To, and the french fries and coke it was like 23 bucks and I gave a four dollar tip <laughs> I just went and picked it up okay you guys just hang on hang on you guys my bad about that See, the windshield, you can't really tell how dirty it is on the inside until we get lights, like, coming into the windshield. Now, now you can see, watch, like, ew, ew, that's yucky, ew, that's gross. So basically, this is what it's going to show you guys. This is going to show you what it's like <clears throat> driving into town <clears throat> and out of town. We're obviously going to start going out of town. So we're gonna drive down the mountain on Highway uh, 18 to 330 going down this way. <coughs> and then we're gonna take Highway 38 on the on the other side. Wouldn't it be hilarious if they didn't let me back up for some reason? I mean that wouldn't really be too funny, but wouldn't it be kinda of be wouldn't it kinda of be hilarious? See the further we go this way, the more snow we run into. Wow, it really feels like Mammoth, but I heard Mammoth just got 10 feet of snow. <sighs> that really just, just really chaps my hide, I'll tell you that much. We get stuck with a measly couple feet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm grateful for this couple feet. But man, 10 feet, imagine how these drives would look. We wouldn't even be driving. I'd be doing my drone all the time, probably. Actually, we wouldn't be doing that either. Because my, my drone, it can fly down to like 22 degrees but you don't want to get any too much moisture in uh, on them because it can get into the motors and screw things up.
guy, this is a terrific job on the roads. <clears throat> but still, but still, you need to take this very, very seriously because this is still slick. Even though they did a great job, it's still slick, okay? And then keep in mind, all these huge piles of snow on the sides of the road, these are gonna melt a little bit at a time during the day. And the water's just gonna stream right onto the roads. And then at nighttime, it's gonna refreeze that water in the roads. So since we didn't really, we got above, as I said, we got above freezing for like 20 minutes today, that's it. And then it went just plummeting back down. And the above freezing was like at, at our high point of the day. It was like 33, something like that. Yesterday, it, it didn't even get out of the mid 20s. I've had a lot of these phone holders and thank you guys for getting back to me about holding the phone. Um, I will definitely figure something out right away. Um, so <clears throat> I've had some some of these smartphone uh, holders for the, for the car, like the really stiff, diff, or tough ones because I need it to not shake while we're driving. And unfortunately, the only ones that I found, even the ones that I spent a, a little bit of money on, um, still, we're not even, they're horrible. Just as soon as you start driving, just like, just moving around, moving around. Very unfortunate, but I mean, they're, they're great for like the, the hands-free aspect, of course, but for this part, no. So that's why I have to find something really strong, like GoPro mount strength, but for this iPhone. We're on the little Arctic Circle now, guys. The temperature's gonna start rising. It's 19 now. It's gonna start rising even some more. Let's see. This is Highway 18. If you go the other direction, it takes you into Big Bear where the Big Bear Dam is. And then you have the option of going left into Fonskin and wrapping around back into Big Bear, or you can just go straight into Big Bear. Big Bear Lake, actually. To be exact, yes, Big Bear Lake, yes, yes. That's the correct one, yes.
lights way down. You can't really see them, I don't think. But way down there. Um, thousands of feet down, folks. This is going to be a beautiful drive. Looking at the city lights driving down from the snow. It's going to be nice. Wow, there's somebody on my butt. Kind of. That's kind of crazy. I thought I was kind of doing a decent pace for this type of weather. into the bowl over by uh what should we call it hang on a second Snow Summit. You can see all the lights. That's Snow Summit right there. Oh, you can't see it now. Be able to see it again when we get all the way across to the Aza side. Break on through to your side. Break on through to your side. Break on through to the Hang on a second. My apologies, guys. It is such a clear night. If we don't have any clouds down down here, we're gonna be so stoked when we go down the mountain. It's gonna be so pretty. And you know what? You know what? Oh, oh, this is gonna be icy. Oh, this is gonna be icy. Do you guys see how the how the, how it looked wet right there? But it was still just the pavement. When you see that, and it's 19 degrees out, <laughs> that's gonna be slick, slick, cluck, cluck, cluck. But yeah, when we get down there, I might even go through freaking In and Out Burger, dude. I'm freaking so excited. That's a bonus to doing the, doing this drive. I'm gonna treat myself to In and Out. I'm gonna buy you guys In and Out too, and I'm gonna eat it for you, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna have to eat it quickly though, because I have to eat it by the time I get to Highway 38, so I can regain control of the camera. But anyway, that's big. That's the city. There, there's Big Bear over there across that valley. See all those lights? That's Big Bear. How cool is that? So it's 19 degrees right here. I wonder what it's going to be like when we get down into the little bowl. Because as I said, lots of times it, it's it warms up right here by. Uh, Oh look, see we got some some people driving super fast behind me. So I'm gonna let them pass. See like that's if I'm passing or if I'm letting people pass and they're driving like this, then you know like they need to be careful. Cause you guys know how I drive. These guys are nuts, man. I, I hope nothing nothing bad happens. I really hope nothing bad happens. Hope they get their 
safe. Wherever they're going. Yeah, guys, it's 19 degrees and there's snow all over the place. As I said, they did do a phenomenal job cleaning up the roads. My gosh. My gosh. Thank you, There's Snow Valley right there. It's like so bright out here, it like almost feels like there's a full moon. But I don't think there is. So that's a that's a good sensation to learn if, if you're gonna be up here doing this a lot coming up here in the snow and all these people jeez Louise I just want to keep my brights on for five seconds jeez oh here comes so many animals look at this guy hauling hauling jeez I get it though, there's like, I just want to get up there, just get comfortable, take our shoes off, get the fire going, drink some hot chocolate, and have some s'mores. Trust me, I get it. Okay, so we're entering the bull, right around this left corner here, and Snow Valley Ski Resort is to the left. And this is where our friend Christian works. And uh, yeah, they get a lot of snow over here. They get a good amount of snow because of the bowl. But look at that, look at how beautiful that is. I caught that good. Great pictures of it, that's good stuff. such a good sense of what to do because I was thinking it was going to be really, really nasty. I was waiting for this guy. I'm in no hurry. Wait for this guy. But look at, I mean, this is so beautiful out here. So yeah, we just passed Snow Valley, you guys, in Running Springs. And then here's a place to go sledding just pat or when you guys are coming up here It's before you hit snow valley on the right hand side. This is a sledding park. Look at how cool that looks So if traffic's an absolute nightmare Then you know if the kids are just dying to play then you, then you can stop there However, that's where everyone's gonna be stopping when traffic's crazy there in Snow Valley and, and I bet a lot of them become very surprised when they ski Snow Valley from, from, from or snowboard Snow Valley from, from what I've heard that's really really nice like the snow is really really nice so Oh, the pullout's 
not not open right now. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Perfect. No, thank you. All right. I'll, just tail, I'll tailgate you too. Thank you. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna tailgate him. I'm, I'm joking. I thank them. <laughs> oh, that's just the kind of person I am. Wow, that sky looks so nice. Guys, this is really, 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 really pretty. The sky's lit, like, just, just like a perfect amount to really brighten up the camera and make it a lot brighter through the camera than it looks with your bare eyes, with your naked eye. sailing on one of those s turns just before here i did a little tiny bit slip a little bit like a like maybe a few inches not even a foot but still just so you guys know it, it's it looks a lot safer than it really is but it's not as bad nearly as bad as i thought it was for them closing down that so they the, the, the highways were probably closed down on highway 330 is what i'm assuming for the most part i'm sure that's where most of the, the problems were but i don't know if it was due to snow I think it was due to accidents because of, well, obviously because of the snow, but due to accidents. So here we go, we're in Running Springs, or Arrow Bear, whatever. Not whatever, because they are two different towns. Deep Creek Burgers. 
I've heard that place is pretty good. If I had a gimbal that I could attach to the car to hold the phone so like it doesn't shake nearly as much, that would be pretty cool. I'm gonna look something up like that. I never, I, I never thought about that. Even though that's exactly what you would need is like something that's like a gimbal. Here we go. This is that gas station here in Running Springs. Yeah. Deja vu. So we just turned right where this guy turned right just now. Remember? Well, we just went went around and came back, and now we're going down this side. So instead of going up that way like that guy, so 22 degrees right now as we're leaving Running Springs heading down the mountain this is highway 330 you guys now this it's where, where that fork in the road was that's we went left you can see the city lights down there man I, you know what, I, I wish you know what I, I promise I'm gonna clean my windshield because this is just too beautiful to miss look at that you guys Feels like we're on an airplane, kind of. That's just incredibly beautiful. I love it so much. Once again, we're very lucky to live here. So beautiful. It's gonna be 
be nice to get my car running normally again because we're going to be going down to the bottom where it's going to be way well above freezing. Well, not well above, but it'll be about 50 degrees. So and then I'm just going to go hose the car off at one of the pay little uh, do-it-yourself car washes and get all the snow and ice off the car. See the snow's getting lesser and lesser. The lower we go, we're at 25 degrees as well right now. Not too many people up on these roads right now, guys. Look at how beautiful the sky looks though. Man, oh, and then the city lights way out there. You guys see that? Oh yeah. I hope we get out of the snow pretty soon though. I know we won't because it did snow down to a very low elevation. I think it snowed down to like 3,000 feet, 2,000. All these cars are facing us like this, we'll go like that. There we go. Woo. Hit the brake before I hit all that wet spot right there. And let go of the brake right before I got to it. This is pretty 
icy over here, guys. This is a little bit on the danger side. So be very careful. This is a bit icy. But as I said, it's nothing like I expected. I expected it to be so much worse. It's like almost not even having to do a video, but it's so beautiful. It's so clear after the big snow. You can see so far at night right now. It's so awesome. The sky looks just magnificent. chain checkpoints or nothing huh guys but actually they're right down here a little bit further is where they actually if they are there I might have to turn around because well I guess worst case I could stay in a hotel down the hill worst case since it's just right here That's where uh, they usually have the checkpoints on Highway 330. And usually that's right about where the snow starts falling anyway. I'm telling you, that bright light up there from Snow Valley Ski Resort looks so cool, you guys. That is so awesome. It looks like a spaceship at the top of the mountain. Still have some snow on the tree. 
trees right here. So it dumped way down here. Wow. This is awesome sauce, guys. Obviously, it dumped all the way down because you guys let me know. This is just so cool. I was excited for you guys. So many spots down the hill got snow. Some spots got some hail. So you guys probably had some thunderstorms, which is pretty cool. Basically, when you start to make that climb up, that's where uh, usually you still don't see snow yet. But right down here, we're still seeing snow. This is pretty cool. It obviously did snow way down where, where you guys are. Right there, you guys saw that, right? On the right. 
right hand side. And it smells so good down here right now. I don't know what it is. It just smells so earthy. Oh, it smells so nice. So excited to get some in and out, man. My ears are popping like a mug. Like a mug. sides of pretty much all these highways going up and down the mountain if you like start falling asleep and you kind of swerve a bit you go over those those rumble strips I'm not asleep but we're going we, I just want to show you guys they have them on both sides typically okay we're at the bottom good job you guys we made it let's just get right down here to this bottom and then we're good all right you guys 37 degrees out. We will be going up Highway 38 momentarily. Let's take a look back at this guy here. 